just because I was rated the number one running back coming in high school, that doesn't mean things was going to be easy for me. If my teammates let me know that in my very first practice, they did not lit up. See, in high school, I was the top dog, so things came easy. I was bigger, faster, stronger than everybody. But here at Ohio State, things were a lot faster. It was hard for me to adjust to the college speed. When I say I didn't get nothing, I mean, I couldn't do absolutely nothing. I mean, I did have my flashy moments while I was rated number one running back in high school, but for the most part, my very first practice was rough. But I kept telling myself, it's my very first college practice, it wasn't gonna be my last. So I knew I had to keep grinding and keep working. And eventually, this college game speed would slow down for me. Against Buffalo, my very first touch, I was a little bit nervous. Coach Day put me out on kick return, and I returned it for 33 yards. Now we up by 24 to 6, up by 18 points. And I get the edge, and yo, know, I was so excited. But we returned for 59 yards. I was kind of getting used to these college game speed. And for the most part, I was excited, but not more excited when I hit this sideline and in that crowd cheering like that. That adrenaline, that rush. I knew I made the right decision by choosing Ohio State, man. The fans was going crazy. I was pumped. I was hyped. Bro, it's no better feeling than this. It felt really good to get my first college touchdown as we ended up winning 45-13. I had three kickoff returns for 188 yards and one touchdown. It was definitely a great feeling that I contributed to that team win. In a battle with the next running back ahead of me, I'm thinking I'm going to come in and show up and show out because, you know, I did my thing in the previous game, but... They defense, it wasn't having it. But as I say, I'm the number one running back. I was kind of getting used to this game speed and I almost scored right here. One thing I like about Ohio State, it was not only going to use me at running back, but receiver as well. So I moved up on the depth chart to now sitting at number three. fourth game of the season and it was going against a lesser opponent so that means i get a lot more playing time and cj stroud definitely should have pitched it and that could have been a lot more yardage than it was but luckily enough we got a stable of running backs and travion henderson picks up a first down with third and one i take the pitch from cj stroud and i break one tackle and you know i'm up that sideline as i shake one defender as the receiver couldn't quite get the buck on that db but we pick up a huge game and the offense capitalized so we up 14 to 10, trying to break it to the left outside, and I get a nice gain on the kickoff return. Being deep in our own territory, we cannot afford to make no mistakes down here. But second and eight, CJ Stroud with a speed option, he pitches it to me, and I got nothing but green grass trying to chew out two defenders, but that defender clips me. But I do pick up 11 yards, but second and 10, we are up big right here. They take the hand off, we only get four. But first and 10, another handoff up the middle. Nice blocking by the offensive line. Instant replay. You got to tip your hat out to Kareem, man. Young running back, but he definitely has vision. It's that middle linebacker thinking we going to follow number 67, but he ended up cutting it back and with a huge lane. Great vision by Kareem. He takes it and picks up an easy first down as we end up winning that game big, 49 to 10. Just checking out a couple stats, man. We had seven carries for 81 yards. We couldn't quite find the end zone. Chevion Henderson had 171 yards on the ground. CD Stroud had two touchdowns, actually. Chevion Henderson had one score, so it, it's a good balance. Well, we definitely a running team, man. But like kicking off the next game against Wisconsin, we only up by one, so we need a kick start. Who other for this guy to get his team a boost? I told y'all, once this kid gets in the open field, it's, 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 it's night night. Close the door, lock the door, whatever you want to do. This kid is a blazer. Man, that kickoff return definitely boosted this team, man. But Wisconsin just will not go away. Once again, can he get another one? Yes, he can. This crowd is going crazy, bro. Crazy, let's go. But 
we ended up did winning that game. It was a close game at first, but we had to turn it up a notch in the fourth quarter. We ended up winning 63-30. to CJ Stroud had 263 yards, two scores, one in the session. Go to one on with a 68 completion percentage. Travion Henderson found the end zone three times, 97 rushing yards. Marvin Harrison Jr., 94 receiving yards and one score. Fleming had 76. Yeah, Johnson had that one score, man. But I feel like we should give Marvin Harrison Jr. a lot more touches. You know, he's damn too talented, a generational kind of player. But we had 200 kickoff return y'all for two scores. Two scores, bro. That is absolutely crazy. As we only doing kickoff returns. Coach Day only put this dude on kickoff returns, but this dude is dangerous, man. Y'all gotta agree. This kid is dangerous, but we end up getting player of Big Ten player of the week, man, against Wisconsin, as y'all see. Here we are seeing at 8 0. We're going against 4 and 3 Purdue. I don't know what happened to the two starter running backs ahead of us. But we we had to get our playing time, man. We we need we not gonna complain or, or nothing. Next running back up, man. So we're gonna try to do what we can to help this team win as boy can pick so at five. We up ten to nothing in IRL, bro. Purdue. As we take a big hit right there, man, they really always give Ohio State a tough time. I mean, Boykins picks up seven right there as we only up by three. Catching a pass out of the back field, picking up a first down. So we definitely want to contribute to helping this team win. Because right now we rank number three. I believe USC and Michigan is the only teams ahead of us. And that's the last. That's going to be a game of all games, man. Against Michigan. That that's that's like national championship, you know, kind of feel to it. As we get another catch out of the backfield, as we end up winning that game, man, round away 37 to 10. We contribute. You know what I mean? Coach threw us in there. I believe the two running backs ahead of us, they was out for a, a quarter or two. I don't know what the case was, but we made the most of our opportunity. Six carries, 61 yards. Cannot find that end zone yet. As far as rushing touchdown, we will get it, man. We definitely will get it. Um, but it's just a matter of time. We got three receptions for 40 yards. Could not find the end zone receiving wise, but that's okay. If we contributing what we can contribute to and help this team win. As I said, man, we ranked number three in the college football playoff ranking. USC and Michigan ahead of us. Coaches poll, we still rank number three. Michigan, USC in front of us. AP poll, Michigan is actually number one. USC number two, and we are number three. But here on out, man, we got Illinois, we got Indiana, and the game of all games, man. So like, comment, subscribe on the video. It's your boy, CRE, and I'm on, and I'm gone. I want to salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret, everything that you done with me. Because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.